Okay, so welcome to my video on binomial distribution. And it's really important to know that this method of probability is only possible if there is two outcomes. Um, so what do I mean by this? Uh, an easy example would be flipping a coin five times. When you flip a coin, there's only two possible outcomes. It's either going to be heads or it's going to be tails. So it is possible uh, to use the binomial distribution to to solve the probability of how many of those five coin tosses are heads and how many are tails. And I'm going to talk about this a little bit more in this example. Just remember that this method is only possible when there are two outcomes. So let's get started right away with this example. Okay, in this example it says a student guesses on all five questions of a multiple choice quiz. Each question has four possible answers, and it's asking us what is the probability that the student got exactly four questions correct. Now, it's important to recognize that there's only two possible outcomes for this problem. One of the outcomes is that the student is going to get the question correct, and the other outcome is that the student is not going to get uh, the question correct. So, since there's two possible outcomes, we can solve this this problem using binomial distribution. Okay, so let's write down everything that we know. In the first line it says a student guesses on all five questions of the quiz. So the total number of guesses or the total number of trials, which we're going to write with the letter N, we know that the total number of trials is equal to five. Okay, and this question is asking us, what is the probability that the student got exactly four questions correct? So out of the five total guesses, he's going to succeed four times. He's going to get four questions correct. So, so the number of times he succeeds, which is the, the letter K, uh, is equal to four. So we know if there's five total questions on the quiz and the student got four correct, that means that he must have got one incorrect. And we can write the number that he got incorrect, or the failures, with the letters n minus k. The total number n, which is 5, minus the number right, k, 4, 5 minus 4 is equal to 1. So now let's talk about the probability of success. Or you could say the probability that a student gets a question correct. It says in the problem that each question has four possible answers. And only one out of those four answers is the correct answer. So if the student guesses, there's only a one in four chance that he got the question correct. So, so the probability of success is equal to one in four, or you could say 25%. So we know that both probabilities, the probability of success and the probability of failure, must equal 100%. So we know that if the probability of success um, is equal to 25%, then, then the probability of failure, or you could say the probability that a student got the question wrong, um, is equal to, to 75%. 25% uh, plus 75% um, gives us um, a total probability of 100%. Okay, so now we have everything that we need to plug into our formula. And before I give you the formula, I'm just going to scroll down a little bit, just to give myself a little bit more space. And the formula for binomial distribution looks much worse than it really is, so just bear with me. And basically, all this formula says is that the probability of any event x is equal to the total number of combinations, and I shortened combinations by just writing combos. So the probability is equal to the total number of combinations uh, multiplied by the probability of success with a k in the exponent, k is just the, the total number of successes, all multiplied by the probability of failure with a n minus k in the exponent, and n minus k is just the, the total number of failures. Okay, so let's plug everything into our formula. Now we're trying to find the probability that the student got four questions correct. So, so the probability that a student got four questions correct 
is equal to the total number of combinations. And I'm going to talk about the combinations a little bit later. So I'm just going to leave that blank for now. And this is all multiplied by the probability of success, which we know the probability of success is equal to 25%, or you could say 0.25, with our number of successes k in the exponent. And we know that our k is equal to 4, so I'll put a 4 in the exponent. And this is all multiplied by the probability of failure, which we know the probability of failure is equal to 75% or 0.75 with the number of failures in the exponent, n minus k. And we know that the number of failures is equal to 1, so I'm going to put that 1 in the exponent. So now let's go back to the first part of the formula and talk about the total number of combinations. Uh, we have to find the total number of combinations that a student can get four questions correct. Um, so let's say he could get the, the first question incorrect and the rest of the four he gets correct. Uh, the X means incorrect and the, the O means correct. Or he could get the, the second question incorrect and all the rest of them correct. Uh, he could get the, the third question incorrect and, the, and all the rest of them correct. So on and so forth. Fourth question incorrect. And the last combination is if he gets the first four correct and, and the last question he gets incorrect. So now let's count how many combinations we have. We have one, two, three, four, five. We have five different combinations where the student gets four questions correct. So in our parentheses, our total number of combinations, we can put the number five. And for the more difficult problems, it's much easier to find the total number of combinations using the formula n factorial all divided by the number of successes k factorial multiplied by the number of failures n minus k factorial. Once again, this is the formula for the total number of combinations. Uh, if we plugged everything into our formula, we have n, which is the number 5. So we have 5 factorial, all divided by uh, the letter k, our number of, uh, number of successes, which is 4 factorial, all multiplied by our number of failures, which is 1 factorial. And if you don't know what factorial means, uh, 5 factorial just means 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. This is all divided by 4 factorial, which is just 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, multiplied by 1 factorial, which is just 1. And if you plugged all this into your calculator, you would get our total number of combinations, which is 5. So going back to our original problem, we're finding the probability that a student got exactly four questions correct. So, so the probability that a student got four questions correct um, is equal to five multiplied by 0.25 with the four exponent, all multiplied by 0.75 with the one exponent. And if you plug that into your calculator, we get an answer rounded to four decimal points of 0.0146. Or you could say 1.46%. So, what is the probability that a student got exactly four questions correct? Uh, the, that is 1.46%. So, I hope this gave you a better idea on binomial distribution and, and using that to, to find probability. Uh, there are a little bit more difficult examples, uh, which I will make some more videos on, so stay tuned. So, I really hope that you are enjoying these and I will see you in my next one.